Howdy viewers, today on the show, we're gonna show you how to do horseback camping. Long before Florida was famous for its beautiful beaches, alligators, and oranges, it was home to our country's first cattle industry. The Sunshine State's version of a cowboy was known as a Florida cracker because of the loud cracking whip he used to drive his cattle. This rich part of Florida's heritage is kept alive and well at Forever Florida. We're headed to St. Cloud, which is located smack in the middle of the state, about 45 minutes south of Orlando. This ranch spans over 4,700 acres and offers you a rare chance to step back in time and experience a Florida most have never seen. We headed over to Forever Florida's Crescent J Ranch where we met up with Alan Perry, a real life cow hunter. My 10 year old daughter Casey is a lover of all things horsey and has been talking about this trip for over two months. Step one, meet your horse. Casey, this is Joe. Joe, this is Casey. This is gonna be the guy you're riding today. Hello. Do you think you can handle this one? He's a blue roam. Now this is a cracker horse? Or? Yes sir, this is a cracker horse. The Florida cracker horse traces its ancestry to the Spanish horses brought to Florida by Ponce de Leon in the 1500s. Yeah, this looks like a good horse here, yes, sir. Alan. This, this, this one's gonna get me there and back, right? You yes, promise? Sir. Yes sir. <laughs> All right, you ready to go? Are you kidding me? Let's go. She says, let's go. Step two, it's time to hit the trail. We saddled up and headed out for our three hour tour of natural Florida in its purest form. The landscape was a mix of hammocks, pine flatwoods, and low-lying wetlands. The sights and sounds of old Florida was all around us as we made our way down the trail. Can you see all the baby alligators? After about an hour into our trip, we found a nice shady spot to stop and take a rest. What a great family experience to come out here as a family and just what an opportunity just to bond and just one of the most prestigious pieces of land probably still left here in Florida. It's about one of the only places left in, without a building on it, yes sir. And we'll be at camp in about 20, 25 minutes. Then we're gonna take the horses down the, the trail a little bit, put them out in their pasture, let them eat graze the rest of the night, come back and have us a really good steak dinner. Step three, horse camping. At last, we made it to camp. <laughs> Moon got me here. We're here at camp, it's gorgeous out here, and uh, Alan's gonna get us something on the grill and uh, let these horses rest, so. How you doing, girl? You doing good? Good job, good ride. How's your fanny feel? Sore. Sore? Sore tush. <laughs> oh, look at these tents here. Wow. You wanna pick a tent? Oh, Is excuse it? me, sir. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you in there. This may be an old Florida experience, but the camping is not primitive. It comes equipped with modern conveniences like bathrooms, showers, and hot water. Are you hungry? Starving. Me too. Let's get something to eat, girl. Part of this experience is you come out here and not only an amazing horseback ride out to the camp, but here it is, Alan has been marinating these steaks since seven o'clock this morning, and now he's put them on a real hot grill for us. This is cowboy food right here. It's cowboy food. For a child, unforgettable memories are often cast in unforgettable settings. And as Casey and I explored the area around the campsite, I hope this would be one of those childhood moments she would never forget. Finally, it was time to sit down in front of a roaring campfire and eat some cowboy vittles. Mm. After having our fill of steak and potatoes, we kicked back and enjoyed the show. Oh my gosh, Casey, look at all this time as we watched the night sky light up with stars like I had never seen before. So Casey, do you like seeing those deer today? Yes, it was pretty cool. That was cool. What did you like? My favorite part of the day was watching you on the horse. Ha ha ha, ha. Casey and I awoke to a beautiful still morning. And after breakfast, I was anxious to hear what Alan had in store for us. We're fixing them to go out here and, and get the, the, the real cowboy feeling of, of herding cows. From, we're we're going to rotate the cows from pasture to pasture. So what we're doing today was done in the 1600s when Osceola County used to be the cow capital of the world, correct? Yes, sir. Well, it's what I love about what you guys are doing here in Forever Florida is you're preserving that tradition, giving people an opportunity to partake in that tradition. And now, Alan will take me to Florida Cracker University. Cracker U! Yeah! All 
armed with my rope I got at the gift shop, I was ready for some lasso 101. And as you go over your head, you want to round and around. You don't want to go fast. You just want to get your, your rhythm on. Oh, sorry. There you go. You got me. Sorry. And you want to, as you get to that pole, you throw it and you let release it like you're okay. aiming. Ha! Oh! That was close. Come on, baby. Ha! Ugh. Now, I think it's the rope. Would you like to try my rope? Let me try yours. All right. Come on, Post. Come to Daddy. Ha! Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. 20th time is the charm, Alan. Next, we move on to whip cracking, the signature tool of a true Florida cracker. Round. 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 And away. Ow! Oh, man. How long does this take to learn how to do? It takes a little bit. That's a Florida cracker. Oh yeah, I'm a Florida cracker. So we make a lot of noise. We make a lot of noise. It disrupts the cows from eating the grass. And they're gonna pick their heads up and they know they gotta move from pasture to pasture. And we'll bring them down here and get them a drink of water. With my cracker training complete, it was time to locate the herd and put my new skills to the test. As soon as the cattle saw us, they took off. Casey quickly went to work on the left and I took the right and Alan brought up the rear. I have to say, driving cattle is an incredible adrenaline rush. Ha! Together, we quickly got the herd in formation and began moving them across the field to greener pastures. Well, Alan, thank you so much, sir, for sharing this bit of tradition and history with me and Casey today. I really, really appreciate it. My pleasure. Stepping back in time to live and work as a real Florida cracker is not only an amazing way to reconnect with your state's rich history, but it's also a powerful way to reconnect with your family. So grab your Wranglers, shine your boots, and saddle up for the ride of your life, old Florida style. Hey, to learn more how to take your cowgirl horse camping, go to our website at howtodoflorida.com.